Hello there, what is going on? How are you dealing with this pandemic? Because I am going crazy, but I'm still holding on. So in this video, we are going to have another Python and Paramico tutorial because uh, recently I was tasked to do or create a script which is able to like determine uh, what's the, the primary application that is hosted on a remote Linux machine. And I was already using Paramico and I thought to myself, why not? Why not Paramico? And this is going to be about how you can use public key authentication with the help of Paramico. This is going to be like literally a really short video. So let's call this parapub.py. So public key authentication is done with the help of a public key and the private key. And when you are using the public key authentication, what you are doing is basically adding your public key to the known host file. And once it is added, you will authenticate with your private key and that is checked against your public key. And if they match, you enter. And um, I have uh, brought up my CentOS machine. I have my ReaperPy user added. And uh, basically what we would like to do is the following. We would like to import the Paramico module and create a client. Hold on, let me make this bigger for you. Where is the plus sign? Control Shift 3. No. Wow. View appearance. Control O. O O O O O O. <laughs> Is equal to Paramico. SSH client. And uh, what we would last also like to do is to adjust the auto or set missing host key policy. And we will use the Paramico auto add policy. So uh, if you don't do this, I'm, I'm going to show you what happens. But basically, it will say that the remote host that you are connecting to is not added to your known host file. And it will die with an exception. All right, now we can use the client to connect. And I'm going to define the machine, which is the CentOS. The username is ReaperPy. And the P uh, key file name is going to come from my ID RSA. So I copy as pass. I did it with holding down the shift key and right clicking on the file on Windows. And uh, <coughs> we need to make this a row string if we don't want to do the double backslash path ending. And we will use the std in, std out, stdr, and use the client to execute a command. So let's make this command simple. So we will use the uptime. And what we can do is to use the std out, read lines, and that's it. So this was the, the like the initial version. We are going to tweak it a little bit. Oh, I'm always forgetting that I'm not on Linux. So Python parapub, enter. Come on. And we have the output from that specific command. Uh, what I like to do is to either use a configuration file or hide the username and the key file name or even the password from plain sight into environment variables. So let's uh, bring up our advanced system settings and create the P user which is going to be reaper pi and p pass which is going to be 
this path. Okay, now we can modify this. So we import the OS module and use the os.getenv p user and the os.getenv p pass. And for this to work, what I need to do is to restart my terminal so it rereads the environment variables. If we go back to the folder, para pub, we can execute the script and it is working once again. So basically that was it. Uh, I thought this would be informative for you because I was looking for a way to use my public key authentication at my professional job and I was looking at Stack Overflow and, and other sources as to how you can use it and there were many solutions and this is the one that basically worked for me. So, see you in the next one.